Hello friends, it is with you, find out more, and today I will talk about, first Starship and Super Heavy Orbital Flight. SpaceX filed an application with the Federal Communications Commission May 13 for special temporary authority for communications required to support a Starship test launch from the company's Boca Chica, Texas, test site. The license would cover communications for what the company called an experimental orbital demo and recovery test of the Starship test vehicle launching from Boca Chica. In an attachment to the application, SpaceX provided the first details about what it calls Starship Orbital, First Flight. The mission would involve a launch of the overall Starship vehicle, including the Super Heavy Booster and Starship Upper Stage, from Boca Chica. A flight date has not yet been announced, although Elon Musk has said he hopes to get Starship into orbit by the end of 2021. Starship consists of two elements, both of which are designed to be fully reusable a spacecraft called Starship and a giant first-stage booster known as Super Heavy. During the upcoming orbital mission, SpaceX plans to return the first stage, likely a Super Heavy on its debut flight, according to media reports, to Earth about six minutes after liftoff. But Super Heavy won't come down at the launch site, the target landing zone is a patch of the Gulf of Mexico about 20 miles, 32 kilometers, off the South Texas coast. The orbital Starship will continue on flying between the Florida Straits. It will achieve orbit until performing a powered, targeted landing approximately 62 miles off the northwest coast of Kauai in a soft ocean landing. SpaceX wants to collect as much data as possible during flight to learn more about the entry dynamics of Starship because the flight profile is extremely difficult to accurately predict or replicate computationally. Such data is expected to inform future vehicle designs and better modeling. The orbital plans were filed days after SpaceX finally stuck the landing during a high-altitude Starship test flight, a mission performed by the SN-15 vehicle, which lifted off from South Texas on May 5. Four of SN-15's predecessors had attempted this flight, but all of them ended up in pieces. One of those vehicles, SN-10, appeared to touch down safely in March, but the fire quickly broke out at its base and the craft exploded. SpaceX has been rapidly evolving the Starship design using the lessons learned from each flight. For SN-15, for example, SpaceX representatives listed vehicle improvements across structures, avionics and software, and the engines allow more speed and efficiency throughout production and flight, specifically, a newly enhanced avionics suite, updated propellant architecture in the aft skirt and a new Raptor engine design and configuration. SpaceX plans to eventually use Starship to ferry people and cargo to the Moon, Mars, and other places far from Earth. Musk has said that, if testing proceeds as planned, Starship and Super Heavy could be fully operational sometime in 2023, although he acknowledged he tends to have ambitious timelines. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful to you and you found out something new. I tell you to like this video and subscribe to the Find Out More channel. Bye.